All right. Okay. This is the hands we're looking at right now is is Alyssa. Um, right here, I am sanding a light switch cover to prep it to be dipped. This was a, we we primered the light switch cover uh, with the primer. We just used sandpaper to to smooth it down down, give it a nice smooth finish. Um, right here, I am cutting a piece of the dome to fit in the light switch, so it's big enough. Yeah, with this we found we have to cut enough material to fully cover the, the, the whatever product we're trying to dip at the time. Uh, and we want to have some spare material so we don't run out of, you know, surface area of material. So what Alyssa's doing now, she's just trimming some of the material down to size. And it is a very flimsy material. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about what the material is as we progress through. But it's very very thin, very flexible, and we add tape to the edges of that to help strengthen and add some stability, uh, dimensional stability to uh, the wrap, uh, the, uh, the dip, I'm sorry. Uh, the other thing the tape does, not only does it hold uh, dimensional stability, but it'll also, once we lay this, this dip material on the surface of the water, it holds it together. It keeps the material from expanding and spreading across the surface of the water. This, once you spray that activator on there, you can really see that, that PVA materials really start to dissolve. Here we have another student, he's, get, he's prepping the water. Temperature is very important when you're doing your dips. Uh, we've dipped using a variety of different containers as well. Um, we've used number 10 cans. This here you can see is a, a recycling bin. We've used those Rubbermaid totes. Uh, we have a coarse trough that that the school owns so um, what we found is that you want to use a product that has a, a very stable hard surface uh, hard sided item um, this recycling bin is pretty sturdy and it keeps from flexing when you're when you're dipping your product into into the water if your if your sides aren't very strong and very stable like a like a one of those rubbermaid totes the sides tend to flex a little bit and that distorts your the image that's sitting on top of the surface so here you can see bardo's getting all the ink out of the way so she can pull her product out and, and